As Ericsson, we try and have a really global footprint in our production capabilities to be close to customers all over the world. We wanted to have a factory that could enable us to work closely and produce closely to them. But it was also an opportunity to try and build a new kind of factory. So Ericsson has a goal to be carbon neutral for our company operations by 2030. Carbon emissions coming from our factory operations all need to be net zero. We have designed this factory with 5G being the backbone of connectivity, which is connected to devices, sensors all over the factory. And it allows us to measure, monitor, and continuously optimize our production processes to not only make this factory highly productive, but then also make it sustainable. Welcome to the Smart Factory. We produce 5G equipment here in the factory. It's both the, the radios that are meant for urban environments, high speeds, high throughput, uh, but also radios that, that are meant for, for more rural deployments. We have built the factory from the start to be a showcase for how 5G can actually enable much more efficient production as well. We build different use cases so that we can analyze, we can predict, we can improve productivity in, in our own production. We have a very diverse team here working with assembly where they work together with robots that are transporting material and warehouse goods, components and finished goods around the factory. They can move faster because they can get quicker updates on the, when something is in front of them. Then the analytics comes in also to determine what are the next steps that enables us to get information and take decisions on eliminating bottlenecks or fixing a problem that we have. There is a long-term game where the factors will start to self-correct and start to uh, even propose what to do next. We have a environmental management system. It allows us to monitor in near real time energy consumption, resource consumption, to really optimize how we use energy and what sources of energies do we use to both keep our costs low, but then also keep our carbon emissions low. And the whole building is designed to be cutting edge when it comes to environmental sustainability. I mean, every time I come to work, I park my car under solar panels. That gives us almost a fifth of the energy we use here. And that's completely renewable energy. It's the only smart factory in the world for Ericsson that is LEED Gold certified. It's the most widely recognized global standard for sustainable buildings. We're not stopping there. We're pursuing LEED Zero Carbon certification. We're going to take the next step to really offset any remaining carbon emissions that we have. We have 40,000 gallon water tanks on this site that store, treat, and use rainwater. It allows us to operate this factory with 75% less water consumption than a typical building. That has also been acknowledged from the outside world, given that it has provided the World Economic Forum a Lighthouse Award. It's a recognition of how next generation technologies can be deployed in the manufacturing sector to enable increased productivity and reduce environmental impact. The 5G is an innovation platform, so there's a lot of things we can imagine that can be possible. We haven't even seen what will be possible. We have the opportunity to work really closely with our partners to address some of the big challenges that we have together. <laughs>